So the, the project is a $572 million project. Uh, that's for uh, the system integrations as well as the deployment activities. It, uh, it spanned about eight years in, in duration from business case to where we are today. Uh, San Diego Service Territory, just to kind of give you a little bit of, of insight into that, we're about 4,100 square miles in service territory, 2.4 million uh, meter points, uh, so 1.4 million on the electric and 866,000 gas meters. The project was to uh, replace 1.4 million electric meters, that's the, the initial goal, and then uh, retrofit 866,000 gas meters with the ITRON gas modules, the 2.4 GZs. We're being more efficient, we're going to be able to respond to our customers more quickly. We're reducing costs to our customers as a result of that. We have the, the, the hard benefits, like Farrell mentioned, actual reductions in, in personnel out in the field due to uh, meter reading, mm -hmm. uh, turnoffs, turnoffs, collection practices. Those are a lot of the hard benefits. Some of the softer benefits is on the back end being able to use the data that the system actually provides, mm -hmm. specifically uh, online presentment, uh, just doing data analytics, either from an engineering perspective or from load research. Those are some of the soft benefits I think that we're seeing already. We have been uh, able to participate in the reduce your use events uh, during the summertime so far. And we were given the knowledge ahead of time that there's going to be some type of a, an event either uh, through the system, system grid issues, not enough uh, load on the system, or it's just gonna be a hot day. So we send the, send the alerts out to the customers to help them reduce, and if they participate in the program, if they reduce yes, uh, less than their baseline uh, average, uh, they'll get a credit on the bill. And uh, I know I've participated in every single one, and on average, I've been saving about 11 to $12 per event. And uh, there uh, were a couple of months where there were several events within a, a billing period, so that you know turned out to be real savings on, on my bill, you know, reducing my bill over $30. For uh, Green Button, San Diego Gas and Electric was one of the first utilities to uh, roll out uh, the Green Button download of my data. Uh, we uh, launched in December of 2011. I think we were the second utility to do so. And uh, we've had some great success uh, with that so far. Uh, I know California overall is really driving you know, that effort, being on the forefront of, of that national standard. Uh, the extension to Green Button Download My Data is Green Button Connect My Data, where users can go in and authorize us to send the data on behalf of the customer to a third party of their choice, uh, automatically every single day. So if there's an application out there that, uh, that we don't provide, but there's a third party vendor that does, and these are typically free applications, and uh, a customer has more choice, convenience, and control over the usage of their own data. The system went down at in the levels of 97, 98 percent, and uh, when the system, when we began to energize the uh, the service territory and get back in service, some 12 hours later, which was a, a phenomenal uh, experience by itself, the network came back at a higher read rate. So it was like a hard system reboot. Yeah, the the meter started reporting at uh, 98 to 99 percent at that point. So. Um, very interesting experience and also gave a level of confidence that theory cannot provide. You know, that, that was an experience, tragic as it was, but it gave us an opportunity to learn and uh, gave us a level of confidence. But I think reaching that milestone was significant for us. I think uh, just from the nature of the deployment uh, and how the mesh network needs to form over time That's and uh, having a goal of reaching 99% um, seem difficult or far-reaching, but uh, as more and more 
meters got deployed, the closer and closer we got to that 99%. So I, I think there was a lot of satisfaction and relief once we reached that level. Mm -hmm. And now we're you know, kind of tweaking the system to see how can we get it even better. The experience has been great. Uh, we've had, uh, uh, I think the best way to describe it, there was a partnership uh, that had to be formed early on. It was a partnership out of necessity. We both have business goals and we're both motivated by those business goals. And it's the, the anchor of that is that we each, our success is tied to each other. And it, with that level of commitment, uh, we began a project that m many folks didn't know how it would, the outcome would be, and being as successful as we are now, looking back, it, it, I, I think that's the anchor, is both, both had a vested interest in each other's success. And working with the ITRON team, it, it's really in two different uh, kind of implementations. You have the field deployment implementation, and then you also have the back office implementation. So you have to focus on making sure that you can get the, the, the meters deployed, the gas modules deployed, and get the information back. And once you, once you can do that, it's all about the system integration work because you have to integrate into, uh, you know, I would imagine in most utilities, more than a dozen different systems in order to leverage all that data. So having to work with the ITRON team, both either from a field deployment, a network, uh, from the MDM and system integration effort has been uh, a great experience uh, from my perspective. It's more about working as a team and trying to accompl accomplish a goal.